Hello, Namaskar, friends. I hope you all doing very well. And myself, Hema Sharma. I am come with the topic of uh, computer system validation versus computer system assurance. As we all know about uh, the computer system validation in current scenario of pharmaceutical industry is very important topic. And the new approach or new thinking about the computer system validation is known as the computer system assurance. So what is the difference between both? So to understand the requirement, to understand the actually the concept behind the CSA, uh, we are just saying it's small video in which we understand the requirement or actual approach, what is the we need during our computer system validation. So what is the difference between the computer system validation and computer system assurance? So as we all know, just remind that, what is the CSC? The documented evidence that prove the intended software and computers are in line with regulatory requirement for the intended use means any electronic system or the any computerized system including your network your computer your keyboard mouse and all the software this combination is known as the your computerized system and you have to prove with the documented evidence that all the system that you apply for the electronic data generation and storation according to the regulatory requirement so why CSC? As per the current regulatory environment, the accuracy, liability, and data integrity evidence and assurance required for computerized system used for business that are a direct or indirect impact on the quality of product and patient safety. Means you know you are producing the product that is directly or indirectly impact on the health, on the life of the customer. So to prove that the system we implemented is accurate and under the data integrity evidence, we have to do validation that is known as computer system validation. So how can we do? For this approach, we have a guideline uh, given by the FDA in 2002. How can we do the computer system validation and what is the general preparation, uh, general principles of the software validation? So in this guideline, what is the written confirmation by the examination? Means verify the software to confirm that it works as per the requirement and can be used for the intended task. Provision of objective evidence. Verify and document all the validation activity and test results. User needy and indented users. Define what user need to do with the software and how they will use the software. Particular requirement, define and document how the software does work to enable the indented use and consistently fulfill, verified and document how the software will work in all the conditions. So these are the requirements written in this guideline. And on the basis of that, on the using of these, all the things, we perform the CSV. So we have the CSV, right? When we see the CSV, the general uh, thinking of, of, oh, we have to create the document, take the screenshot, make a lot of the documentation, and this is the CSV. But actually, when the FDA auditors see, especially in the case of medical devices, uh, auditors check, uh, the CSV and found that the actual concept behind the computer system validation is not fulfilled. So what happened? So uh, FDA launched the case of quality in 2011 following in the depth review of the device quality data and feedback from the FDA industry stakeholder. Means a case of quality generate a review program on the quality uh, initiated so that the actual concept behind the electronic data, uh, using of electronic data or the storation of the electronic data or the computer system, price system validation should be clear in the industry. 
so according to this the draft guideline is available and will be launched accordingly that is known as computer software assurance for production and quality system software that is applicable in our pharmaceutical industries especially and medical device also so csv is morphed into an activity that is done primarily to secure evidence for auditors rather than to show, ensure the quality of system means we want to only that we have to make happy the auditor only so we are doing the csv no the actual purpose behind the csv is to ensure the system quality the quality of our computerized system validation is synonymous with documentation and delay and it is often characterized as a necessary evils versus a value added activity means we are not thinking about that we are doing values we are adding the values in our software but we are saying oh this is the evil we have to create a documentation lot of documentation and we can show the auditor so that our auditor make happy so risk based on the impact to patient safety and product quality measured against the requirement complexity in it calls for the least burdensome documentation approach it reduce paperwork by 80% with the unstripped and ad hoc testing it result is less issues and counter in production fd and ispe supported means risk based approach is required 80% unscripted testing is required means when you script the testing during your qualification or your validation some tests are unscripted you can notice when you apply in production environment your system or your com software you faces lot of the thinking lot of the uh, things lot of the incident because you not ensure at the time of the qualification that's why unscripted testing is required also so that the concept of 80% unscripted testing in csa and fda and ispe support that the new approach of the validation now fda support and increase the use of automation and its use solution shift focus from documentation to critical thinking and testing now not create document only critical thinking where we going to be trouble when we use in the production environment when we use our software in routine activity what type of problems we can be face now we have to focus on that take credit to the work testing your cloud provider may have done ensure it is a trusted vendor means if the document if the work if the risk with your vendor you can use that you can apply on your qualification activity also verify define and focused on the intended use use a streamlined risk based approach driven by impact to patient user safety product quality focus on testing not scripting use unscripted testing for low medium risk component so focused on the quality on the risk based approach so ispe support the fda also in case of quality program gamp leadership believe that such an approach is including pharmaceuticals biological and medical devices and throughout the complete product life cycle regardless of the specific applicable predicate regulation gamp strongly support the adoption of new and innovative computerized technologies and approach thought the product life cycle to support product quality patient safety and public health and there is white paper this release the white paper according to that manufacturer were hesitant to invest in highly automated technology as the cost of validate this system was very high the validation process had not keep pace with the technological advancement and was 
hurting the growth of the life science industry. FDA therefore decided it was time to a new approach. This new approach is computer system assurance, CSA. It represents a change in the way systems are validated. The idea and CSA is to allow organizations to focus on rigorous testing on area that directly impact patient safety and device quality. So can you see this white paper also? So the FDA new approach to CSV computer system assurance represent a step change in computer system validation, placing critical thinking at the center of the CSV process as opposed to a traditional almost one size fit all approach. As its regulatory approach continues to mature, the FDA intended to focus on direct impact system and not on indirect system. The change allow manufacturer to focus testing rigor on area that directly impact patient safety and device quality as direct system software. Example, inspected or disposition product labeling system will require testing based upon risk and expected deliverables are similarly to current expectation. That is the Recur the application, the more testing and documentation is required here. Indirect system is the software that does not directly impact the product or patient safety, but does impact the quality system. For example, document control, complaint management, life cycle management tools. The same rigor is not intended for the ensure of these type of system and they require less documentation. So this is the type. Now, scripted versus unscripted testing. What is the difference? Traditionally, each test script was written in a great detail, regardless of whether the system or the feature was a direct or indirect system or feature. So, the same level of effort was being put into creating test document for the low risk system or future feature and high risk system for feature. CSA introduced the term script testing and unscript testing. Let's examine these terms. So what is the scripted testing now? Means uh, when you design your uh, validation activity with the scripted way and you have the document, okay, this is passed, this is failed, this is known as the scripted testing. Means the scripted testing, what we would no, as traditional testing, scripted testing, as we know, usually contain a minimum a test object for the test script, a step-by-step -step test procedure, expected result, and pass and fail. Scripted testing is to be used to test to higher risk direct system or feature as the software does directly impact the product or patient safety. So this is your script. Now, what is the unscripted testing? Unscripted testing is a testing that is carried out without the use of detailed test script. Unscripted testing is to be used to test lower risk, indirect system or the feature as the software does not directly impact the product or patient safety, but does impact the quality system. There should be a test, objective, pass or fail, but not step-by-step -step test procedure. So this is known as the unscripted testing. You can take one of the example of unscripted testing, like you script that when I log in my system, uh, there is this type of the privilege available. And if another person type this type of the uh, login and there is privilege not available, you did any scripted testing. But in unscripted testing, you have to show that if I am not authorized to doing any work, so if I am doing to try, if I am going to be try to this work, the actual message should be come here first thing, and actually practically I have to see that there is availability or not of entering of that computer software assurance benefits. A reduction in the cycle time, test creation, review and approval means your cycle time will be reduced. A system can be broken into the feature and only high risk feature will be required scripted testing. 
reduce test script execution time lower number of detected def uh, defects for example script error and configuration testing focus on ensuring software quality better use of supplier qualification maximize use of csv and project resource example smes means we have to use maximum use of smes so uh, change the culture from your organization from the compliance entering mindset to quality focused culture so we have to change this mindset leverage your software supplier existing activity perform supplier audit consider using computer system validation tool to automate assurance activity know the intended use of your computer system know the high risk feature operation and function of computer system review and update your current policy to align agile with the csc approach so this is the requirement So now we see example learning management system or training management system. So what is the impact, direct or indirect? Because in the case of learning management system, there is not direct impact impact on the product or patient safety. So this is known as indirect impact. Now category configured or non configured. For example, this is non configured. So what is the risk? Low risk. List of training there is required. list of completion of the training job responsibilities required what is the minimum medium risk training completion evidence for example there is no evidence that i have complete my training or not high risk no high risk there is no high risk because there is no directly impact on the patient safety or product quality so this is the example of indirect system now deviation management system so impact is direct this is the configured and low risk how to enter for non non conformance how can we enter for that attachment with the workflow optional sections this is the low risk and for medium risk case audit trail is not available or available electronic signature is a uh, available or not available or we can do electronic signature or no like this and high risk product rejection product recall there is post procedure uh, of the like this type of decision so this is the direct impact so this is all about the csp in a very so short way if you still want of an explanation because this is the last topic a big topic cannot complete with this soft the small video we can discuss or we can uh, discuss on the questions or we can take the example also you can write on my mail id or this is my number also so uh, i hope you enjoy it this is the small introduction or somehow the explanation about the csc concept still if you want to be uh, discuss you are welcome uh, i will come with another topic till then bye bye take care guys we will meet soon